Howdy, Bush School. Welcome to another edition of the Bush School in the 87th Texas Legislature. I'm your host, Samantha Gordon, Bush School Communications Gantt, Class of 2021. Our special guest today is Sydney Sursa. So let's jump right in. Sydney, what is your current job? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm Sydney Sursa. I'm the Senior Policy Analyst for Senator Shortner, who represents Senate District 5. I cover Health and Human Services Policy, Business and Commerce Policy, and also Senate Finance. How did your work in the legislative capstone at the Bush School prepare you for the current position that you're in now? So I was lucky enough to work in the Senate Health and Human Services Committee last session with Senator Kohlkorst, and I'm pretty much in nearly the same position as I was last session, just up a little bit. So I got to work on a lot of um, a lot of the similar bills that I'll work on this session, same finance stuff. I got to work on Article 2 of the budget. So I had a lot of really good experience and work with some wonderful people that connected me to where I am now. So it was it was a wonderful experience and considering I'm in the same policy area, I think it really prepared me well and I learned a lot about how my workplace works, what the environment is, all of those good things. Wow, it sounds like it really led into your role that you currently have, so that's great. So you yeah. men mentioned you work with uh, Senator Schwartner now. What district is he from? So he represents Senate District 5, and that's Williamson County out East Central Texas, and he actually is the senator that represents Texas A&M, so Bryan College Station, which is a cool little tie-in that I wasn't really expecting, but it, it's nice to be connected to A&M and the Bush School in this way in my current job. Oh, that's awesome. That's great that you have yeah. that connection. Yeah. So what impact are you current ha are you currently having on public policy in the state? I like to think that it's a, a decent impact. I get to discuss with my boss um, what kind of bills he wants to file. I can send the draft request in and kind of brainstorm what that bill is going to look like. Um, and these are the bills that will get referred to committee, get voted on and like voted out of the Senate and potentially become law. So it's kind of surreal that I get to have such a significant role in that. I know it's I'm down low on the chain, but it, it feels like a big impact to me. <laughs> now kind of a little bit more fun. What's your favorite memory from your experience? From last session, it was just so cool to be able to be in this situation with people that I really cared about. Like my capstone, we're all still wonderful friends. There were seven of us and there's four of us that are still in this world. There's three, there even might be more in the building. And then we have one of our really good friends works over at the Legislative Budget Board. So Senate Finance and House Appropriations are meeting right now. We get to talk about that while it's happening. Um, but we were all really close. We got to share a lot of experiences, you know, like the late nights, early mornings, trying to get away when we could like go on a little walk around the building and just really bonding with them and learning about how state government works was I mean, it, it was the whole experience. The whole experience was my favorite thing. Um, and we got to work with a professor who's super knowledgeable and still, I mean, she was super invested in our success in our internships or capstone placements and kind of saw us through. And we still touch base with her all the time. She like wants to know where we are. And we actually have a Bush School student in our office now. So it's cool how, how it keeps going along. <laughs> and my, I mean, we have, my chief of staff um, is a Bush School student. My deputy chief of staff is a Bush School student. Our district rep is at the Bush School about to graduate. We're, the, the lineage runs strong in this office. <laughs> That's so cool. I love hearing that. It's great to yeah. see all those connections and the stuff we hear about in the building when they're always talking about that Aggie network and especially Absolutely. The school, all the Bushies. So that's really great to hear. It's, yeah, it's, it's cool. very real. <laughs> what is the most shocking experience you've had thus far? The entire, like learning how the process works, it's been really surprising. I feel like state government is one of those things that just flies under the radar and people, some people don't even know that we meet every odd number a year. Like they think that we're going all the time or when it happens like, oh, that's that's a thing. So getting to see from the start, like, okay, we're discussing bills. There's this idea. How can we put that into policy, into law? We start from there, build up, and then you get you just get to see the ins and outs of everything. And it it's just not what you would expect. It's a lot more detailed and there's a lot of like tradition and decorum in the capital and just stuff that you don't realize, like everything that goes into making the state's budget and having to plan for two years of the state spending and accounting for all of that. It's just, it's definitely different than what I imagined. Um, 
but not shocking, just surprising. <laughs> Do you have any fun stories of your time there? I met some of my really good friends and actually after my capstone, I ended up working at the Health and Human Services Commission for a little bit. So I went from the Capitol out to state agency and worked for a Medicaid program and got to use what I learned there and then ended up coming back. Um, so, I mean, you learn about so much and you don't know everyone that's involved and you just learn so much <laughs> and you make really good friends along the way. And, and the network, like you said earlier, is super strong, not just Bush School, but all a and students. Like I got connected with, she was a deputy executive commissioner who went to the Bush School at, and she was over at HHSC and she kind of helped me navigate, how do I apply to these jobs and what would I be good at and all of these things. And so you just get to meet so many wonderful people that help you along. And I know that they would do anything for any of us. And like, now I feel the same way with our Bush School student, I would do anything for her. So it's just cool to see that, like that behavior and, and mindset around the Capitol. How is COVID-19 making this year's legislature different from the years past? That is such a wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> so last session, I would say a lot of my job was really just meetings, meetings, meetings. People would come over to the committee office. There would be advocacy groups, there would be constituents or people that would just, that were not constituents, but just citizens of Texas that would come and be like, I really care about this issue. I really care about this bill. And I would get to meet a lot of people, spend a lot of time learning about a, a lot of things that people are passionate about. And I still do that now, but it's on Zoom and it's much less frequent. Like people don't get to just drop by, which is, I would say the main difference. Um, and then otherwise it's just, I mean, we're, we're testing every day. We have these um, wonderful wristbands that show that I've tested negative today. So oh, wow. if you, if yeah, like if you're to go into a committee hearing or on the Senate floor, you have to show your wristband. Um, we're all wearing masks, all of those like public health precautions. Um, and otherwise it's just a slower moving session. Like things have been slow to start. Um, I think that they're really focusing on the budget right now. Um, committee hearings haven't started yet. And I think by this time last session, we were already started. So it's just been slower moving, but I know that that'll pick up soon and we'll get going and somehow we'll, we'll adjourn and maybe get back in, who knows? <laughs> There's just a lot going on that we haven't touched yet. So yeah, we're doing everything we can to, to stay in the building. Um, I know some other offices have done the cohorting thing where like not everyone is in at one time because if one person gets sick then everyone gets sick and right. we're all just trying our best to do our job in person because it's really hard to do remotely and we learned that over the interim. <laughs> Sydney, thank you so much for joining us and the Bush School and the 87th Texas Legislature today. Uh, Bush School, we will be back in the near future with episode three. So keep following us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn for future episodes. Until next time, I'm Samantha Gordon and y'all have a great day.